Hey guys, welcome to the last prefecture, the most southern prefecture of Kyushu. It is Kagoshima this time that we are gonna have a look at. It is the most southern, as I said, and it also has a lot of islands. And maybe if you never looked at prefecture borders, you might think that all of those islands are Okinawa, but oh, like up until here, but that's um, not true at all. Um, so basically everything which is north of the main Okinawa Island, I'm not sure what its name is actually, maybe just Okinawa, uh, everything north of that except those small ones but those like in this range here like, uh, that's all Kagoshima Prefecture. So let's go through with um, the stuff here, we have those. We have another prefecture with three kanji, which is quite rare. And so I, so it's it's dear child island, so or or dear baby island or something. It's a pretty cool name. Um, I think. This and this kanji is exclusive to Kagoshima. No other prefecture uses it. This is Shima, so of course Fukushima and all those prefectures that Shimane use this kanji. So this is not that helpful to learn. So better learn those two. Look at them. Try to remember it. Uh, the flag is this one, which I was a little bit surprised. Uh, what what is this? <laughs> And, um, and the flag is actually the Satsuma and Osumi Peninsula and red is Sakurajima, the very famous volcano in the middle of the prefecture, kind of. Um, yeah, it, it might be the second most famous volcano in Japan after Fuji as it's also quite nicely shaped plus it has its own island kind of <laughs> created its own island because why not um, yeah it's here so those are the two peninsulas this is the Satsuma Peninsula and this is the Osumi Peninsula and in the middle here we have Sakurajima um, Population-wise, it's actually surprising that area-wise, it's the 10th largest prefecture, which maybe might be due to the Mercator projection because it does not feel that large. But because it's closer to the equator, but still very far away though, um, it might actually be bigger than it looks. So. So it's 10th in area, but only 24th in population. So it's kind of um, average population wise, but density wise, it is um, below average due to its high area. Um, there are a few towns, Kagoshima, the main city. Um, there's also another famous volcano, the Kirishima mountain range here. You have a lot of stuff together <laughs> next to each other. Who wants to throw some lava? So, yeah. Uh, we do have the Shinkansen that comes down here from Kumamoto and goes then through here up until Kagoshima city where it ends and does not continue. You could technically go over here and then here and here and connect up again. Yeah, that, that would actually be not that bad of a line, but I guess there's no major city, like no big, really big city on that way. So it probably will not happen the next 10 years, I guess. <laughs> So, um, as we can see with the topography, it's it's like Japan, like often is hilly a lot, but it, it doesn't really have a major like mountain range here. 
We could say that up here it's a little bit more mountainous, where actually the Shinkansen almost goes through. And um, around the volcanoes it might be a little bit more mountainous. Uh, there are some small valleys on the coast and down here but even those like Kagoshima itself except the very city center is actually that's all in the hills up here so it's quite an interesting city because if you spawn in the hills you might see the volcano which is pretty amazing um, yeah, and I, vi I visited this one, the only volcano that I visited when I was in Japan, actually. We didn't have f time for Fuji in the end, or, yeah, we did other th stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what else do I have? So, interesting is here that in 1914, um, this due to an eruption this has actually been created uh, the, I the island did not used to be connected before that before 1914 so that's actually quite new you would think that might have been here like thousands of years but it's actually not that's only 100 years that this connection is so a little bit more of a gap here to fill, <laughs> which is gonna be hard. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, the soil here is very fertile, of course, due to the volcanic ash um, that creates, um, like not the ash, but over time. And so they actually grow record daikon ra radishes here. And those radishes are so big that they are can grow as big as a basketball. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Um, the prefecture in general has strong agricultural roots. Um, and most well-known exports are green tea, sweet potatoes, radish, pongi rice, satsuma ware and Berkshire pork. Um, Kagoshima is also famous for a, an in, important ingredient in uh, Japanese uh, kitchen, which is bonito flakes. And it is second in production only to Shizuoka prefecture. In addition, it produces the largest volume of unagi eels, which is, um, yeah, you, I think here we usually don't get eel, but it's actually, when I was in Japan and we only went for sushi one or two times, and at one time, uh, I felt like the best the best sushi that I had was actually eel. It sounds kind of funny because those are so glitchy, right? They are they are not so famous here to be eaten or maybe we don't have them even. Maybe we have other eels here. But uh, they are actually very good tasting. And um, the last thing that I have is that the Japan Airspace Exploration Agency has several facilities in this prefecture. Um, the, including the country's main launch facility on Tanegashima, which is here. And uh, and there's the Uchi no Ura Space Center, which is somewhere... Where is it again? It's somewhere in this part, I think. <laughs> but yeah. So there's that. We can maybe look at the pictures really quick. That's Kagoshima with the view. I think I've been at this exact spot. But I've also been on the island. But yeah, that, that, that is almost more impressive, actually, than to go on the island, this spot. Yeah, this is from the ferry, if you drive up to there. 
that's Amami? Really? So Amami is also one of the bigger islands and uh, yeah, that's also an island. That's your own, the, the one next to Hokkaido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Garbage. Oh, nice. Wait, this picture is from there? Really? This picture sounds familiar. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Is this on the island or not? This is quite an interesting view. <laughs> Somehow. Palms. Whoa, what's this? <laughs> what the heck? He's screaming. Whoa, that is also sick. Yakushima. That's also one of the islands, I think. Anything else here? Well, let's, let's show you guys the daikon radishes. It's huge. Oh, uh, not here. Wait. Daikon radish. Um, Sakura Chima. <laughs> yeah, here is a good picture. This one here. <laughs> it's huge. This is like a basketball. Probably. <laughs> it's crazy. So thick. Very cool. Wow, 30 people played this already. Really? All right. Uh, one second. All right. Let's go. Oh, wait. We forgot the area code, but it's pretty easy. It's 9 9. We're in the last prefecture, except like Okinawa, but Okinawa has 980 because they probably got the area code after that and were not considered in the first process. So, yeah, there's that. Let's do it. Let's hope we get to see Sakurajima. Maybe from the city itself. That would be amazing. Ooh, this feels like an island. This is the classic island kind of port in Japan. Ah, uh, this, I don't know. This feels even, even kind of familiar, but it's probably not. Wait, is there... Can we go here? Uh huh. I think it's not. Where's the water? North? Hmm. Oh, we cannot even go there. Really? Yeah, we have to go up. I mean, it's an island. It's not gonna be the mainland. Everywhere I go, I have to go up. So it doesn't really feel that tropical, but the islands that Kagoshima has, Kagoshima, uh, hmm, where to go? They are not, at least they don't feel that tropical. We don't actually, I mean, we can see there's some varied amount of tree species but still there's nothing that feels like really tropical like palms or stuff oh wow a bridge huh wow that's interesting we're in an area where there's lots of islands like what does that mean Maybe here? I said north, right? The water. Maybe here? Maybe we on Amami. Could be. But I'm not convinced. It, it feels quite populated for an, a normal island. Could it be mainland after all? Hmm. I don't think so. Because I feel like there's not enough islands. Yeah, I, I don't, tr it doesn't extremely feel that way. So I'm, I'm not sure at all if we're, wait, was that a number? 
No? No, oh, maybe not. So I'm really gonna wait. Inter gonna be interested to see if it's correct. Is 47 here? No, it's not here. That's for sure. Oh, wow. Oh, it was Nagash. No, it was actually Shoura Island. Ah, so this up until Shishi is uh, Kagoshima and the others are uh, Nagasaki Prefecture. So that makes sense because it didn't feel that tropical, so it makes sense. And there is a lot of islands here and a lot of smaller ones as well. That was how we could actually go. Oh, I actually did go here, I think. Yeah, probably. So I was actually reaching here, I guess. All right, let's see. Oh, this feels very mainland. Uh, going east west I don't know in this prefecture I would not have a general favorite direction maybe oh boy oh here it's going down so I always like going down in Japan oh this was so south that's for sure but oh man I thought we were in some populated area. Hmm. Weird. Someone smoking. <laughs> smoking really hard. So the area is very agricultural here, but still hilly. Okay, they, this room might be interesting. Wait, what was that? <clears throat> no, it doesn't say anything that I can... I'm not going to waste my time trying to read kanji. Okay, we have a number, 512. And the sign is very scuffed. But it doesn't feel like an island. 512. So at least I'm on that. That's so narrow for a state highway. Huh. What if this is still 512? That's crazy. It is. What? It even shows here? Wow. But the signs are very scuffed. And so we are really in an extremely agricultural area. So I'm... This uh, makes me kind of think we might be here. Because here we have such a big area. What, what is here in 14 kilometers? Is that Kanoya? No, it's not. Is it this? Is it? Oh, it's this. Shibushi. And what is this kanji? Hmm. Because we are close to there. Wait, wait we had 512, right? So... Huh, 513, All right, we are somewhere here, but how populated was the starting area? Not really, I mean, it's very flat. It's like interesting that in Japan, if you're in a flat area, and you find out which prefecture it is by those hexagon signs, for example, then it quite often is possible to find the right area if it's an extremely flat area because all other areas would not or at least have made, would have made less sense because Kagoshima is not... Mm, I mean, it was also hilly, but we had large fields and that's, yeah something that's rather unusual so we got fields again also again just like a little bit hilly here we follow some kind of water it looks very interesting mm, where do we go let's go northwest 
interesting trees and everything here. Oh wow, okay. This might be good. Chikura Caves. So we have caves here as well. Space Center. Oh no, now it would have been nice to know where it is. <laughs> now I'm punished. We're on the 75, so it should be again somewhere over here. There's 74, but not 75, 73. Hmm. Where is the space center? 75. That is weird. I thought it's on the eastern half here, on the Osumi Peninsula. Or is it here? Is that this one? Oh yeah, it's actually this one. Chikura no Iwa. What? Back. Mangrove habitat and Hamada Beach. Hamada could be one of those. Oh my gosh, 75 is so long. Here it says also that beach name. Oh man, is this one doable or not? Oh, 75 goes all the way through the whole island. Damn. Chikura no Iwaya. Iwaya. Tanegashima Space Center. Well, hmm. We don't know how close we are from there. We just know it's south, and that's not helpful. Nishino, Omote, and Noma. Yeah, that's definitely north. Where is Noma? Man, this is so complicated. There's Noma. So we're probably close to Noma, if Noma is mentioned as second town. Um, where is Chikura? Where is Chikura stuff? How do you write Chikura with the Chi thing? Uh -huh. There is the mangrove park that was actually mentioned on the sign but yeah not not easy not easy so all right another island tanegashima where the space center is oh no a photosphere oh it's a dam probably yeah has to be a dam or maybe mining? Mining? Is that possible? I don't know. Rather a dam. Huh. I think it feels like quite mountainous for uh, Kagoshima. But we have some major lake. Lake Ikeda. I don't think it's that. It doesn't seem like that. It's not it's not so round. It's more it's more long. Like dams are usually I think. Yeah, maybe this one. Maybe this one. Uh what else is there? So the water is going more like north south. Yeah, that does rather make sense here. A little bit. This is east west east west. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one and hope. No. <laughs> okay. Over here. Oh wow. Just the river. But is is it a dam? Yeah it is a damu. Damu. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a dam here. On the southern tip of Osumi right yeah it's Osumi uh, peninsula which is more mountainous that's right that's south of that valley basically that we we had this agriculture around hmm very interesting 
All right, the photosphere there. Would not have expected that. I might need to remove this after this game. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's not that bad to have one photosphere every now and then in this series. So. But yeah, the series is almost over and kind of weird feeling actually for me. Because I felt like at times, especially in the central part of Japan, I was not really motivated to do this any uh, still. Um, I had felt like I've done so much, but I was still only halfway through. But since we're in the southern part, it's been coming much easier again. And yeah. no idea what I'm doing here <laughs> this feels like it's definitely a prefecture road we're following some water probably man the locations here with the trees and stuff Th there's like stuff here that we haven't seen before I mean, we also had we had like two island locations now, so maybe it was also from there. But it definitely feels feels a little bit special overall. This challenge, even for Kyushu, compared with the other prefectures. So maybe it's more. Maybe Kagoshima is like landscape-wise kind of in between the normal Kyushu. And the uh, Okinawa, some kind of like in between, maybe. Uh, what is here? No, presumed gravesite. <laughs> presumed. <laughs> Sounds like fake news. Ichiuchi Castle, Yoyama Park. I don't know any of that. But there's a lot of signs which seems to indicate that we are on the mainland. Uh, Kagoshima and Ijuin in IC. We're probably somewhere along this expressway. There's the 25, but we need the 24. Where the heck is 24? Eh? Where's 24? There's 25. 22. Hmm. It was there. Oh, oh! It's an inter interchange from actually the the national three. What? Since when? Since when do national roads have interchanges, or at least since when are they marked? Because I thought that usually always means we're on an expressway. So I stayed along this yellow, uh, along this orange road. It was actually here in the kind of in between, like not far away from Kagoshima city, but we still had some mountains in the way. Um, yeah, let, let's try to see on another main road. On the seven, yeah, there is. Yeah, there's not many though. No, usually it's marked from the expressway. So maybe it's because this road is so important here that it, instead of building an expressway over here. They decided not to do that because they already had road three, which is probably a major national highway. So maybe that's why there's no expressway needed, but then they still wanted to have that stuff. And yeah, I mean, that's some big ass thing there. So this was the other peninsula first time. So that, that was an interesting seed, man. We got two islands. 
two islands actually, just two, not three. Um, and twice here, very different though. I mean, this one was photosphere and this one was agriculture area. And then here in a small town, kind of in the mountains outside of Kagoshima. Let me have a look at that again. Yeah. All right, so I need to make sure what was It's quite nice. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for Kagoshima. I will make sure to remove the location from the map and I see you on the next video in um, Okinawa prefecture. So enjoy. Have a great day. Bye bye.